Hello everybody, and look what I brought. I brought myself an all powers solar panels and all powers battery, which is this one. I'm running into a little problem. I don't want to leave my solar panels outside and charge the battery because somebody will steal it and there's nowhere really good in the house to place it to get a good charge, except for my window up there. So what I'm going to do, attach it to the sides up there. This solar panel comes with little hooks over here and over here. So the plan is, go to my window, put some screws there and there, and mount the battery over here on this little pillar, and hopefully it'll charge. I think this is all I'm going to need. A drill, rebar wire, a couple of drywall screws, one inch and two inch, and a wire cutter. I'm probably going to need a marker. I should get that. And the measuring tape. Let's measure how wide those little hoopy things on top are. It's exactly 25 inches. And this is 36 inches. Well, the solar panel is a little bit smaller. And the window. That's fine. I use a rebar size. Rests breeds rust. Wow, well, wait a second here. How is this not common sense? Of course, if you sleep outside in the rain, because you can't fit inside a soda can, you will get rust. It's like saying if you had an hyperdrive and add to it some bleach, you will have a bleached hyperdrive. What's wrong with you people? But I'm a little confused about one thing. What does rest mate with to give birth to rust? How can something not real find true love and have kids while I'm still all alone? Maybe it's because of my wonderful attitude of being not happy. I must find the answers. Maybe if I looked it up in my dictionary, but I ripped out all the pages from it. There were too many words in it that I didn't know so they had to go. That's how I deal with stuff I don't understand. I removed them from my mind and sight. Like how I got rid of my roof because of all the rats that lived up there. I didn't understand why they lived up there and why they looked like people and why they were paying $1,200 in rent. I would have only paid $1,150 for that apartment. You know once you get rust on you it's so hard to get off. You have to grind the crap out of it then use a sander to buff it out, just like removing your emotions. Who needs emotions anyway? They make you do things you don't want to do. Like smile, show compassion, live in a sewer. I also don't understand the saying follow your heart. I tried to do that once by ripping my heart out of my chest, kissing it, and then throwing it across the room, out the window. The only thing that happened to me was a catastrophic system failure. Who knew that would occur? I guess I needed that fork. It's a great substitute for a heart and I needed to eat my dinner of nuts and bolts. Who am I kidding? I could use my hands but they are so dirty from playing in the sandbox. It's hard to dig a hole in there and hide your treasure. There's all these kids you need to shovel away. But once they were gone I would keep digging until I hit soft hot stuff, that's where I put my treasure in. It's great because it encrypts my treasure into this black ashy stuff. The only problem is that I don't know how to decrypt it and get my treasure back. It's like trying to figure out how to solve a Rubik's Cube without using a hammer or learning how to drive a stick shift in a boat while crashing into a wall. Hey race a tip, if someone tells you it's fun to drive a boat into a wall, they are trying to kill you or teach you a very important lesson on what happens when you mess with the Coast Guard, or was that a school of tuna fish? Well the one thing I learned is that if you are being chased by tuna, make sure you have a bucket of mayo and some black pepper but not onions. They can be mean and make you cry. They know which buttons to push to cause your eyes to get irritated. The best way to avoid tears from coming out of your face holes is to not be so sensitive. So what if they make fun of you and call you names and break your heart by not showing up to your birthday party underwater? It's not like they are going to drown down there. They will probably die by the water pressure first. I just hope this doesn't set my house on fire.